Welcome back, everyone, to the Auburn Blitz. Want to go straight to the phone lines. Welcome in a good friend of the show, head baseball coach at Auburn University, Butch Thompson. Coach, thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule uh, to be on the program here for a little bit. Well, I always know baseball season is right around the corner, Brett, David, when I get a chance to visit with you guys, so I'm fired up. <laughs> well, we, we're always fired up to have you too, Coach. Class act. Uh, what a great job you've done since you've been at Auburn and uh, uh, just continue to raise the expectations and raise the bar uh, of this baseball program. Really, Auburn, uh, you've taken Auburn to a new level since you've been here. And uh, uh, you guys do a great job of coaching our guys, but going out and finding really quality players. I'll kind of start there, Coach. Kind of give us a preview of this team and uh, what this team looks like. You got a lot of key returning guys, but you got a, a, lot, of, a lot of good newcomers in here, too. Yeah, we've been going since October, so, you know, once we all got together, we got, again, in this new world, this new age, it's like half your team's new. So you got 20 new guys, and I, I can tell you from the fall that we got better, and we put a pretty big charge into them about coming back better. And now we're at this stage here, two and a half weeks before the season, and we like this group. They have the best academic semester we've ever had in our tenure here. Uh, attention to detail. Everybody's kept their nose clean, and they were raised good. I got an amazing group of people that were raised good, make good decisions for the most part, and have excelled. I can't wait to get out and you know get on this field and really see them see them play. Coach, uh, you, you know my Robin and I, and your wife Robin. We love we love that Miss Robin too. Uh, and I hope strike one, two, and three are doing well, by the way. But, you know, my Robin and I tell people, you know, we've got season football tickets. We go to as many basketball games as we possibly can. But our doggone favorite place to be on Auburn's campus is inside Plainsman Park for baseball. And, and uh, you know the history that I have with baseball with my son and, and all of that and with you guys. So you have to be extremely excited Catch everybody up on where we are with the uh, the new uh, facility upgrades at the park. Yeah, thank you so much. I know you've been around a ball field. I'm glad that Auburn baseball can take that fix of, of you working on a baseball field and being part of it and DJ, your son. I know those are some great memories. But, yeah, uh, you know, we're going to be in progress is the best way to put it, meaning that, you know, this home plate club, the Hall of Fame club, in honor of Frank Thomas will be done. They're finishing the, uh, the touches on it as we speak. It's going to be phenomenal. We got our students uh, elevated in right center field, so they're going to be absolutely there and, and, and being honored. We've Our students have done an amazing job, just like the jungle and it, like football. And these last two or three years, they've done nothing but come out more full support. And, yeah. and I can say these two things are going to excite us all. But the best is yet to come, and we'll be under construction all year because that first base club level will be going up all during this year, and that seating above the monster will be taking place this summer and fall. And, you know, new locker room, um, new weight room, and the coaches will go to the second floor of the, the building that sits behind Plainsman Park there. So we have a lot to build out between now and the start of next season, but you'll be able to tell with this first generation of this Hall of Fame club how amazing uh, this facility is going to be when it's completely finished. I'm excited to, to see it in person too, Coach. Uh, you know, uh, facilities, everything's an arms race nowadays, and, and, and we're blessed to have a, a beautiful facility. I remember when it was built originally, and, you know, it was at the top of the mark, but it was time to, to upgrade, and uh, these are, these are going to be awesome upgrades and enhance the fan experience. I know that's what it's all about. Uh, you know, in this conference, in every sport, it's brutal. But I've told everybody for years that it's the most brutal in baseball. I mean, the teams, it's like you play a College World Series team almost every, every weekend, weekend yeah. uh, in this league. And, and you guys last year, Coach, really finished the year strong. Uh, uh, coming down the stretch, had a lot of momentum. Uh, just talk about last year's team and the momentum you guys built and then carrying over in uh, coming into this season. You know, I've said over and over, even people getting tired of hearing it about last year's team's ability to stay in the fight. And you know, once you lost Joseph Gonzalez opening day, uh, your number one pitcher, and then everybody tried to step up. But there were so many, there just wasn't enough returning pitchers. So we get to the midway point of SEC play, and you're 5-10. and 10. And this team just absolutely committed to getting better. I give our assistant coaches 
a ton of credit, uh, Gross, the amount of maker, Sean Rock at the time, just absolutely kept this group together. And they go 12-3 and three the second half, and that's two oh, sweeps nice. at the end, which is it doesn't matter what you're doing. One of those was on the road, which is impossible, uh, next to impossible, and you beat the number one and number two team back-to-back weekends in the country. <laughs> um, and it was, it was strange ending to last year of – the year before, you beat a, a Florida State and a UCLA and go on the road 2,000 miles and beat an unbelievable national three seed in Oregon State to go to the College World Series. And then, you know, you basically go 0-2 in a barbecue last year. And I, I'm thankful <laughs> that the expectations of our programs got to a point where, you know, you get to host a regional and it's a disappointment. But, you know, as, as you continue to build a program, and they, you keep learning lessons, you keep figuring out strategies of – you know, taking the good with the bad. Sometimes you learn more from your failures. But I look back at the end of last year's team, and I know that, you know, we hosted back-to-back regionals for the first time in the program's existence. Um, and that's a big deal, and only five teams out of 300 have hosted back-to-back the last two years. And then last year in the regular season, season we win more SEC games than we ever have in our tenure. So there's some great things happening. That uh, The end of the season was abrupt according to our expectations and what our hopes were. But, you know, again, we're selling out Plainsville Park again for the fourth year in a row, and we've actually sold hundreds of more tickets than we did even last year. So I'm excited. Our players are excited. I know our fan base is excited as we keep feeling like this program's growing. Coach, you got I got chill bumps when you were talking about the regional. You know, Carter and I, my grandson, were there. And then, of course, we took him out to the College World Series. I, I just got chill bumps thinking about those memories and I appreciate you spoiling us, so just keep spoiling us. Right. <laughs> no pressure at all. We love what you're doing. You know we think you're the best baseball coach in America, and we're glad you're an Auburn Tiger and your family. And I just can't wait to see uh, the product you guys are going to put on the field in a couple of weeks. Well, I appreciate it. we got a beautiful day today, so we're going to try to make that count and make sure we're getting, you know, not giving a day away and getting out there and getting ready to – to roll. Well, Coach, we really appreciate you taking time out. I know you're busy. I know you're in the weight room right now, about to get out on the field. And uh, uh, just appreciate your time, being a friend of the program. And uh, good luck to you on this season of War Eagle. Yeah, Auburn people love what you guys do. Keep it up, and uh, I'll see you at the ballpark soon. War Eagle. Thanks, Coach. Thanks see so much. Soon. That's Coach Butch Thompson there with Auburn. Uh, just a great guy. Uh, I, had, I did have to send him a picture. Uh, I, said, I said, my son's actually on, on your field right now. That's out pretty there awesome. Uh, is he uh, started with the field crew. And he'll go out week. there and meet no, him. he did. Like he, said, he said, I'm going to find him. So, yeah. I mean, it's just, I saw text Braden. I said, Coach Thompson's about to walk up to you. You don't think you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I mean, but again, that's just kind of take time out to go talk to whoever. That's who he is. Make everybody feel like yeah. they're included. And so, uh, just glad to have him. Always on the show with us, uh, David uh, does a great job. Man, we are blessed. Seriously, I know uh, we're an Auburn show, but uh, like he said, twelve and three, coming down the stretch, making the number one two teams in the country. Unbelievable. And you lost your number one pitcher again in the year. Yeah. So, yeah. who will be back? Uh, hopefully, stronger and better than ever. So that's a yeah. huge plus. So, yeah. up against the final break of the show. Stay tuned. One final segment right after this.